The Mother City is a hub of fashion, art, design and an eclectic mix of people coming together from all walks of life. Making your home in Cape Town begs the questions, where will I stay and which neighbourhood will I call home? Today we've got Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property, to take us through Cape Town City Bowl as one of those options and what it looks like from a property perspective. Simon, so good to have you here again. Talking location, location, location. <laughs> yeah, talking your backyard actually. I know, my backyard. Backyard now, let's be honest, when we think about Cape Town, um, it is known for a rather expensive lifestyle and when it comes to renting and buying property, the pockets need to go rather <laughs> deep. Would you agree and why would anybody consider living here? Well, I mean, Cape Town's got so much to offer, you yeah. know, Mother City, you know, all sorts of landmarks uh, that we're used to seeing uh, all over international media. So there are a lot of reasons why people want to live in Cape Town yeah. and that's driven the property market. Uh, it's fueled it. It's it, the growth in Cape Town has been beyond the growth in some of the other areas in South Africa, and and I think that's making it a little less affordable yeah. um, than other markets in South Africa, which is a bit of a shame because it's a beautiful place yeah. to live and you want to be able to live close to work. Uh, but um, certainly the City Bowl still offers an element of affordability and mm. I think that's what's really driving that more than more Absolutely. than some of the other areas. Now I know I chose to live in the City Bowl area because of work and it's, it's good to be close to work but why would someone choose the City Bowl and not rather move out towards the suburbs? Well I think your commute time is, is a huge factor. Yeah. The fact that you're right in the mix, that businesses are nearby and I think that's one thing that's very exciting about what's happening in the City Bowl. I'm particularly uh, excited about it myself. It's very international in its approach uh, mm -hmm. as a city. You know a lot of the other cities in South Africa you're seeing a decentralization. Yeah. You're seeing businesses move out of the city center and have been doing for years and with that the residential suburbs also start to sprawl out away from the centre of the city, whereas in Cape Town it's been able to retain businesses in the centre, it's been able to uh, renew old buildings and, and you know, revive old areas and I think that's what's exciting is it's kept the centre uh, close, uh, you know, between Table uh, Bay and ta Table Mountain. So it's exciting to see that. Uh, and it's definitely driving a, a, an European style of property uh, in South Africa. Yeah, there's definitely just something, a certain je ne sais quoi about City Bowl. Now, when it comes to renting or buying properties there, what are we looking at? You know, purchasing a property in the City Bowl is still fairly affordable when you compare it to other markets just next door like Atlantic Seaboard. Yeah. Uh, I think that's driven a lot by these older buildings that are being refurbished. Uh, and you've got great opportunities to buy, say, two bed flats for under three million rand, which in the context of the rest of the South African market may sound expensive, but in terms of the Cape Town uh, property market, that's actually really good value. Uh, in terms of renting, you know, for about 15,000 to 18,000 rand, you can get a good two bed flat in the city, which for someone that is uh, living, uh, working right nearby, that's a fantastic lifestyle choice, you know. Uh, very, yeah, <laughs> very convenient. And one that I like as well. Convenience is everything. What is the Simon Bray tip of the day? When you're looking at a city, uh, it's very important to pick an apartment that uh, has something unique and something different about it. So pick something with an outlook, uh, pick something with uh, a great uh, parking, because in the city parking is, is a premium, uh, and you'll ensure that your property values always perform better than those around you. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Simon, for being here. You know, one thing that these conversations allow us to just, you know, kind of confirm is that we have gorgeous neighborhoods all around South Africa. It's beautiful to see that. Uh, you know, we did this uh, project where we wanted to go around the country and profile some of the great neighborhoods in South Africa. And it's just exciting to see how different each one of them are from one another. There's this great character, there's these unique elements. It's been a special project actually. I know, we love it here. Oh, there you go, never fear when Simon is here. Simply log on to www.privateproperty.co.za and let them guide you through the right property for you.